Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the 14th lecture of the Calculus video tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss about trigonometric expressions and some of the concepts related to this particular problem and all this formula has been discussed in the lecture number 11 and 12. So I'd like to request you to please watch those two lectures before watching this particular video and that will help you understand this lecture very easily. Okay, so let's start. As you can see, the problem statement is already written on the board. Uh, is uh, limit x tends to 0 and 10x minus sin x divided by x cube. Okay. So before going to the next line, we can do one thing. We can write sin x as sin x divided by cos x multiplied by cos x. Right? We can write that so that cos x and this cos x cancels out. We, give, uh, we get the sin x. And then in the next line, we get 10x times cos x, right? Because we know that sin x divided by cos x is equal to 10x. So we can apply this concept here. So we can write, sorry. So we can write limit x tends to 0, 10x minus 10x times cos x divided by x cube, right? We can write that. So this is the first thing we do. So why do we do that? Because we can take common 10x from both the pairs, or we can divide both the terms with 10x. So if you take 10x as common, I mean, if we divide both, the, both these terms with 10x, you get one minus cos x divided by x cube, right? So I hope you can understand up to this part. Now, what we can do here is that we can write it as limit x tends to 0 and this x cube we will split this into two parts. So we will write this as 10x multi, uh, divided by x times this 1 minus cos x we can apply the formula. What formula will be that? It would be 2 sin square x by 2 and divided by x square. Okay. So what we have done here is that we splitted x cube. So we give x here and x square here. And in the numerator, you keep 10x here. And this part uh, is being converted to 2 sine square x by 2. So why does it happen? As you can see the formula, say 1 minus cos twice x is equal to 2 sine square x, right? So what happens is there, this degree, I mean the theta becomes half here, okay? So if you have 1 minus cos x, so in the right hand side, we will get 2 sine square x by 2. So the theta becomes half, the easiest way to remember it, right? So if you have twice x here, you get x and if you have x here, you get x divided by 2. That's how we have written 2 sine square x by 2 and divided by x square. Now, if you have uh, watched the previous three lectures, the next concepts will be pretty much similar. I mean familiar to you, sorry. So that would be equal to limit x tends to 0. You have 10x divided by x multiplied by 2 times sine squared x by 2. So what we need to do here is that you have x squared, but you have to divide it with 4. So it would be x squared divided by 4. Why? You will understand in the next line and you multiply here with another 4, right? So that these two cancels out and you get the previous line. Now, limit x tends to 0. So we keep all the constants at the beginning. So it, you have 2 here and this 4. So this is 1 by 4. So 2 by 4 comes in the beginning and you have 10x by x. This part has already been brought in the beginning. So you're left with here sine square x by 2 divided by x square by 4. So you can write it as sine x by 2 divided by x by 2 whole square. Okay. So if you square this term, you get this term. If you square this term, I mean x by 2, you get x square by 4. And this remaining purse has been adjusted in the beginning. Right. So this value 10x by x, this becomes 1. And sine theta by theta, this also becomes 1. So you have only 2 divided by 4, which is equal to half. 
I hope that you understood everything. Even if you have any doubt, you can let me know through the comment section. Okay, so please let me know your opinion in the comment section. And if you face any difficulty, of course, you should let me know in the comment section. And as I said uh, before solving this problem, that the concepts related to this particular problem has already been discussed in lecture 11 and 12, particularly in lecture number 11. Okay, uh, there you'll see all the problems related to adjusting this uh, theta, I mean adjusting the theta of sine. Okay, so this will be pretty much familiar to you if you watch the lecture number 11 and 12 and then come to watch this video. Okay, so I hope uh, you understood and we will discuss few more related problems of this type involving this formula and we will need three to four more lectures to complete those and I hope you will be with me till that part of the journey. So see you in the next video. Stay fine. Allah Hafiz.